Hey, this is Zero at PG Zone HD, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you my eighth custom toy box, which I've titled Hologram Land. I got the idea for building this when I was playing around with the themes in the last toy box I showed you a couple days ago, in which I built a very small portion of the track and a little building using these hologram blocks. And I just thought it looked really cool, especially at night. So that's the reason why I wanted to build an entire world out of it. So just like with the last few toy boxes that I built, I built the first half of the track and then I checked to make sure that the race icon would pop up. Once that passed, I would go ahead and build the other half of the track. And some might ask why I do things that way. Well, it's a real pain when you build a full length track only to find out afterwards that one of the pieces overlapped and caused the race icon not to pop up. And sometimes it's really hard to figure out what caused it. So it's kind of a process of elimination. If I build a small track and it doesn't pop up, I can look through that area. And the same goes for when I start adding more to the track. It's much easier to figure out where the problem is. And I haven't ran into that problem with the last couple tracks that I built, but it is an easy mistake to make. And that's why I recommend doing it that way. And that's also the one question that people keep asking me in these videos is how I'm able to race the computer in the toy box. I keep getting asked that question over and over again, which I've made two or three tip videos showing and explaining the process, but I also understand that people haven't watched every video that I've made on here, but if you're stopping by for the first time, just check the Disney Infinity playlist and look for the track builder tip videos because I answer all those questions in there. But back to the track creation, the first three stages of building were in the daytime themes. But once I started adding in a lot of the hologram blocks, I went ahead and switched it over to the nighttime setting, which was done using the sky changer that I talked about in one of the last videos. I didn't really run into any big problems while building this toy box, but my temperature gauge did fill up once again a lot faster than what I had hoped. I wanted to add some more lighting and even some more hologram blocks, but that kind of stopped me from doing more. And this is one of the longest tracks that I've created, so that kind of played a role into why that gauge filled up so fast as well. I can't remember exactly where I got the hologram block theme from. I'm sure I showed it in one of the videos. I'd guess that I got it in the toy vault with a spin, but I could be wrong on that. And I think I'd like to switch the track to the Rainbow Road Wreck-It Ralph disc and see how that looks at some point this week. So I may upload one more video showing this track and racing on it at some point soon. But I'm going to finish the video off showing a race with Syndrome and the Light Runner. I managed to make it all the way through the race without making any mistakes. And then on the very final stretch right before I crossed the finish line, I did finally bump into the side of a wall. On last night's video that I uploaded, I was just flawless on it. But it's not as easy as I make it look in these videos, especially in that Tron car. That thing handles like a battleship. It's a lot bigger than the regular cars, so it's a lot easier to bump into something with it. But the reason I felt this was the best track that I've shown so far, it has as much to do with that Tron car as it does with the holographic block theme. Once you jump in the Tron car, it changes the music that you're going to be hearing as I'm racing, and it also just looks really cool spinning in the air. And yes, I will be submitting this to Disney later today, but that's pretty much all the commentary that I have. Hope you guys enjoy the race. This is Zero at PG Zone HD, and as always, thanks for stopping by. Fantastic. 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 <laughs> 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 
Fantastic. 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 